South American legislators call for sanctions on Venezuela Cucuta, Colombia, AP. Legislators from six South American countries met on Friday to discuss Venezuela's humanitarian crisis and reject the contested May 20 election of President Nicolas Maduro to a second six-year term. The group of more than 130 parliamentarians from Colombia, Venezuela, Ecuador, Peru, Uruguay and Argentina issued a four-page statement that said Maduro is leading a repressive government that systematically violates human rights. They called on their countries to impose financial sanctions on top Venezuelan officials who are suspected of money laundering and said they would ease entry requirements for the thousands of Venezuelans who are fleeing the country. At a hotel located just a 10-minute drive away from Colombia's border with Venezuela, the legislators delivered passionate speeches in which they dismissed Maduro as a dictator and a tyrant who has become a threat to the region. The joint statement called on Latin American countries to bar Maduro and his closest aides from entering their territories and to treat the opposition-dominated National Assembly as Venezuela's only legitimate branch of government. Let this be the last dictatorship our continent has to experience, said Deli Fernandez, a Venezuelan legislator who attended the meeting. Colombia's migration authorities estimate there are some 700,000 Venezuelans now living in the country, almost twice as many as last year. Many Venezuelans have also moved to Ecuador, Peru, Argentina and Chile. On Friday, parliamentarians promised to advance legislation that will make it easier for refugees to live and work in the region. One proposal suggested allowing Venezuelans to enter neighboring countries on expired passports because the government has been slow, and some say reluctant, to grant new passports to its citizens. Efrain Cepeda, the president of Colombia's Senate, said that Venezuela received thousands of Colombian emigrants who once fled conflict and poverty. Now, he said, it was time for Colombia to return the favor and help Venezuela to make a transition to democracy. Democracy is alive and well in the Americas, Cepeda said. And we will not rest until it is restored in Venezuela. Copyright Copyright 2018 The Associated Press All rights reserved. This material may not be published, broadcast, written or redistributed.